What's going on with this guy? He's going absolutely nuts! Hey there everyone, my name is Gamepar and welcome back to another episode from the Minecraft Cafe. I'm starting out today's episode from the very top of our Game Part Industries bamboo farm. And that's for one very important reason. It is time to get our collection system towards a smelting system all set up and that is going to be the goal of this episode we are going to root all of our bamboo drops all of our kelp drops into an automatic smelting system now that might be a lofty goal for one episode but we sure are going to do our very best to try to get it all done so grab your favorite hot beverage grab a tasty snack and pull up a chair to the cafe table while we play this amazing game called minecraft on the minecraft cafe I've just finished up a really good mining session and we've got ourselves a good chunk of iron so let me grab my inner chest and see what we've got going on here all right so inside our iron uh, shulker box we've got just uh, under eight stacks of iron saved up so that is a good start and all this is reserved for today's project so um, also, we've just been getting so much resources coming through here. It is definitely time for us to start this. I had to replace the shulker boxes here with double chests because it was getting full way too quickly. And even at, with the double chests here, I'm, I'm losing items. I'm, I'm seriously looting, losing items. I'm also losing bamboo. Uh, this is probably full. Yes, it is. So if, if this goes off, I will lose items again. So I'm going to need to clear these out and replace them. So... Uh, I mean, it's really good that we're getting loads of drops. That's going to be awesome for our um, our farms. But until we get this collection system in place, we are losing bamboo and kelp like mad. I've also put this uh, collection system in here for this farm. So step one today, I believe, is going to be hooking up some of the basic... I mean, I'm, I, I don't have enough iron to do all of the minecarts in here but we're gonna hook up the main collection hoppers and hook up to this dropper system which is gonna drop the bamboo into the water collection area and we're gonna root that water collection area into an underground smeltery around here now we're gonna need to go low enough underneath that we avoid the redstone and I can't remember just how far down the redstone goes at its deepest point so uh, I can sneak underneath here now which is kind of really cool uh, so and then I can stand on here so let me grab the coordinates here I am uh, standing on level 60 so level 59 uh, needs to be the buffer and so level 58 is the highest ah uh, can I can I yeah I can sneak in through here uh, level 58 will be the highest that we wanted to take a ceiling on this meltery so let's take a look I am uh, standing on 58 here so uh, yeah it'll come in and have to go down a little ways so my first job is going to be hooking up the hoppers for the other four bamboo farms here and then I'm going to be creating the dropper system uh, I'll have to replace this temporary storage area here and put in this dropper system with the little uh, clock here going into it so I've got to reproduce all of that so I've got for myself some redstone supplies and I need to have a really good look at how I set this up so the very top hopper is going to have a dropper going into it. Uh, so let me um, hope that I'm not going to get stuff going all over the place. Where did that... Okay, there's that extra hopper. All right, so we've got a dropper. Now, I can't remember which way the dropper faces when you place it in. So let's see. Is it facing the right way? Yes, it is facing the right way. That is awesome. Now, I've got a comparator pointing this way. So let's get some stone in place. I should have gotten some extra stone. And 
and I never remember which way these face when you place them in, but that is the wrong direction. Okay, let's let's fix it and put it that way. That is correct. All right, now we have. Uh, is there is there anything? I, I just want to make sure that I'm seeing everything in here clearly and properly. All right, so, okay, we've got the block in behind. I'm gonna have to clear out this sand. Oh no, 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 no. Water and redstone are not friends. Okay, where did that comparator go? Did I already, I must have already picked it back up. And fortunately, the water did not make its way over here. Okay. So, let's gingerly clear out that sound because I think if I clear this out I'm gonna get more water again all right so we need to have a block in behind here and we need to put our comparator back in place now was it point this way nope um, that's let me get here like that yes like that okay so we've got our block and then we have redstone and I think there's something nope nothing underneath here so how does this work again I might have just broken this I don't know I hope not this is what happens when a redstone noob attempts to make things in Minecraft okay redstone redstone okay then we have a block I need some extra Ooh, actually, I'd better light this up because mobs are going to spawn underneath here. No question about it. All right, I believe that there is a block there. Yes. And then we've got two blocks here. I'm going to get one to step up on, too. I've got a comparator. Or is it a repeater? No, it's a comparator going... Let me put the comparator in first. Comparator. Block and redstone. So if I put some dirt in here, you know what? It's not going to go in because there's nothing to receive it. It's not going to pump it directly into a chest and okay time to get rid of these chests which is gonna be a lot of bamboo but now I can throw some items in here and it's not going to work okay what have I done wrong is this working Okay, I've broken it. So I've got this thing working again, and basically what happened is I I forgot this block here. I, I had broken it and didn't realize I needed it there. So uh, yeah, so we should be able to get this thing uh, hooked up. So again, the reason why this one probably didn't work was because of that. And that needs to be in subtract mode. I really don't know what subtract mode is. I just know that that's what it's called when you hit it. All right, my next job is to reproduce this. What? Four more times. Yeah. You know, one of you guys really needs to give me a trident. Any of the trident-wielding drowns I've experienced so far, none of them have dropped a trident. Maybe we should look at building a trident farm. Oh no! Ha! Um, 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 uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's get, let's get, uh, a chest set up here. Picking it all up. Okay. Whew. That's good. Clearly this place is not lit up well enough and that's gonna affect things like our creeper farm. So we should probably get this all lit up. Also, I don't want mobs um, 
sneaking up behind me and killing me. So, yeah, let's get this place lit up. Ooh, creeper down below. Dude, you're in our work area. Do you have a permit to be here? There we go. I think that is all of the circuitry in place. Now, I need to go above and place down the initial hoppers. Then we'll test to make sure that all the droppers are clicking things out like they're supposed to. Okay, that one works. And works. And works. Oops. And works. Okay, they all work. So that is the initial uh, hopper and uh, dropper set up for each of these areas. Next thing I can do is put the water stream in place. I'm trying to remember where I put my ice. Oh, I was I was really short on ice, wasn't I? I might not actually have any. Oh, I have some. Now, that's probably not going to be enough. That's definitely not going to be enough. But we'll get this down and go down, grab some more ice. Yep, wasn't enough ice. I got to go find myself some more ice. My silk touch pick is getting a little bit low, but I've got almost a full shulker box full of packed ice, and that's going to be enough for me. I'm going to head back. Got the packed ice in place up until this point, and I think... I think what I'm going to need to do is clear out the work section underneath here because I need to know exactly where everything's going to be going. But uh, my pick is getting pretty down there. I mean, I've only got uh, 228 durability left. So I'm going to need to make another pick and repair it since I don't have mending. I just realized I'm going to need to take this all the way underneath all of this redstone over to where the kelp is going to be feeding into the system. So I might actually need to take it down a little bit lower than I thought. Hmm. I'll have to work that out. So far, so good. I haven't broken anything. Uh, I've got a first bit of uh, carving out done. What I'm going to do is bring this tube down and I'm actually going to, oh, uh, I've got to move those chests, don't I? Those chests are going to be stocked full. Ugh. Come on, let's parkour. Okay, I've done this so many times off camera. There we go. Uh, I'm going to need to get rid of these. They're going to be stocked full of kelp and I'm going to need to put them in there. But we're going to put this tube directly down into here. Uh... So I want to get that below ground to start with. This is one of the most fun things in Minecraft to do. Now, because I've gotten rid of those chests, we are going to experience some kelp loss while we're working on this. But um, I'm not too worried about that because we have so much of it and we're going to get a lot more through building this project. All right, so the kelp's going to drop down here and we're going to connect up with a water flow that's going to run it along hoppers that are going to be collecting the kelp for the um, being smelted. But we're going to need to take this down lower because we need a room that uh, adequately avoids the redstone and uh, I'm going to put the roof level along here. So we need to get at least one more block down to clear all the redstone uh, before we can actually walk in the little room and get everything aligned. Well, the roof of our workspace is going into place. Let's get some more stone brick here. It's not the most, um, you know, pleasant block to look at. <laughs> the most aesthetically pleasing block, but... For an industrial build like this, it's inexpensive and uh, easy to get, so yeah. All right, here is the tube that all the kelp's going to be dropping down to. I, I just happened to look up as it uh, activated, and uh, it was quite the unique view here of all the kelp rolling in. I'll try to see if I can capture that on video. So, I'm making some decent progress here. I've got quite a bit uh, dug out floor in place, even put some ladders in so that we could continue digging out without uh, having like to have a stairwell here. Uh, but, 
Pickaxe is now on durability 27. I was trying to get it to go down quite low so we didn't waste a repair. But I think now is the time definitely to get it repaired. And which is a good opportunity for me to show you something. Take a look in my valuables chest here. Uh, look at the number of diamond blocks I've got. I have been working so hard trying to get iron. And uh, in the process of getting iron, I have just been finding all these useless diamonds. I mean, if you can't get iron, what, what, what good are diamonds? Well... Better go repair this pickaxe. Oh no! Uh, I've got to waste some valuable, valuable iron now and make for myself a new anvil. What a waste. Well, there's the anvil in place. Uh, I really didn't want to have to do that. Iron is just so valuable. How much is this going to cost me to rip? 33 XP to repair my pick. That's probably the last time I'm going to be able to repair that. So the way I envision that this is going to work is that we are going to have... Um, okay, let's see. We are going to have our water stream coming in here. And then when we get close enough here, we're going to have a line of hoppers oh i'm gonna need to get some more hoppers but we're gonna have a line of hoppers uh and the water's gonna continue on here for probably eight hoppers uh that'll be enough to do one full length of water stream and actually i should probably count this out so i'm gonna have a water stream here so that's one two three four five six seven eight uh we are gonna have a whole pile of kelp <laughs> <laughs> Just pouring in here. That is awesome. Yep. So it's going to come in here. It's going to flow down here. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this, I'll mark this. This is probably where we actually want, ideally. Uh, no, 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 no. We want one more here and then we want our hoppers to start here because we're going to be putting our our uh, water flow source block in here uh, just behind where the items are flowing in that way we don't risk anything getting caught here uh, then we're going to have a line of eight hoppers and uh, it's all going to be inside the water stream and as they flow in they're going to be sucked up by eight hoppers hopefully eight is enough uh, to catch it all just because uh, the items will be flowing in fairly quickly and I, the hoppers are only capable of carrying uh, or sucking in so many items at once. So uh, with the eight going along here, hopefully it'll catch everything. Uh, and we're probably going to need to set up some sort of holding area. I don't know. Uh, we'll see just what the quantities look like. We're going to have a fair bit of kelp if I tile the farms going up. So let me go get a few more hoppers and we're going to uh, finish the uh, feeding line for the kelp and then the bamboo is going to come in and it's going to come in along the side uh, into the hoppers that are going to be feeding the fuel into the furnaces. So I've got the water stream in place and I threw a couple items down just to test and seems to be working all right. So items are gonna flow into here. We've got eight smelters here in place. Now what I need to do is put seven. I've got one hopper here so far. I'm gonna put seven more going into the furnaces and then we're going to block this off as another water stream and we're going to come in from the bamboo farm and this is going to feed in the fuel and so things are just going to automatically come in uh kelp's going to automatically come in to be smelted bamboo's going to automatically come in to uh be fuel if the items are not here they won't run once they're here they will uh no concern it will run whenever it wants to run it'll produce as it wants to produce and we don't really have to do a thing. It's just going to run perfectly automatically. And, uh, you know, I'm really stoked that this thing is actually coming together. This is so sweet. We just had a kelp harvest. And you'll see that there's a fair bit of kelp in here. But there's nothing in here. That is because we forgot a critical component. Uh, and actually, I'm going to have to do that from above. Because I'm going to 
break stuff if I don't. We need to put a water source in there so that water will flow the rest of the way through those hoppers. And I used up my water source. I got to go get some more. All right, we got our new water source. Let's toss it in there. And now items should flow where they're supposed to go. We've had another kelp harvest and we've got kelp going into every furnace. Obviously some of them have lower numbers than others. The end ones will always have the most. This one will always have more because it's always available to receive more if it's uh, able to suck it in fast enough. The end one will always have more because some of the kelp will just get to the end before uh, any of the other hoppers can collect and so this one will always collect more. But that is okay because uh, we're just happy with this smelting uh, whenever it wants to. Now over here I've got the initial collection areas uh, in place here and so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start putting the water in and I'm going to seal up. I've got a, a basically a bounce wall going on here and there's going to be a cap on the top just so nothing can fly out but I've just got a bit of a bigger bounce area over where the dispensers are so things don't go flying around. So I'm going to get the water streams in, the rest of the glass in and I'll show you that progress uh, once that's complete. I thought I'd actually show you some of the uh, process here. I don't want a dead spot where the dispenser is going to be placing anything so I'm going to put my dead spot just back a little bit and then we're going to put another water source here uh, that way we're not going to run into a situation where items are being spit out by the dispensers and they're getting stuck on this empty spot i'm just sealing up the last little bit here with this the collection system should be complete so I'm just going to run down here and show you what's going on. I've got to watch that. Actually, I'm going to put a piece of uh, glass. That's fine. So we've got, let me just wait my way around here. We've got the dispensers. They're going to be spitting their items out into these streams, and they're all going to just fly along here. And, uh, I mean, this looks a little ridiculous with, the, with all the glass, but this is pretty much just to make sure that uh, nothing gets loose and I could probably go along here and salvage some of this glass on the corners because I don't need all of it there. It was basically there um, as a block for me to place these side pieces on. Uh, but it's going to spit out, it's going to hit this wall, it's going to go directly into the water stream. Everything is going to fly down over this pre uh, pressure plate on the on the ice. It's going to fall into this stream. It's going to flow into all of these. So, as soon as we get the kelp farm, no, I mean the bamboo farm, activating again, we're going to start seeing these furnaces kick into high gear. Now, before that happens, I need to put in um, some hoppers underneath and some collection chests. Uh, once that happens, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in um, hoppers running all the way to one of these two ends so that all of the items are feeding into a central area and then we're going to build a bulk storage area uh, for this over on this side down in the bottom. So uh, that is my next task because currently this stuff is all basically just going to go nowhere until we get that in place. So. Uh, I should have enough hoppers to put underneath here. So they're all just going to go this way to the end. Oh, that one is in the wrong spot. And they're just going to come right to this area over here. And we're going to set up a bulk storage system on the end. But for the time being, I'm just going to put uh, two chests here. And that's going to tell me that this thing is working the way we want to before we invest the time into the storage area. I've managed to witness both the bamboo and the kelp being put into the system and everything is working fairly well, but we do have some adjustments to make. Let me talk about the bamboo first. First of all, the bamboo is working really, really well, partly because the droppers are uh, dropping it into the water stream a little bit at a time. And so nothing is getting clogged up 
uh, because of the limitations of hoppers being able to suck items in. The kelp is a different story, though. Uh, the kelp, if everything is cleared out, collects really well, but once things start backing up a little bit, uh, we get a fair bit of loss here at the end. Uh, so what's happening is that the hoppers are either full or are not able to collect the kelp fast enough before it gets to the end. So what I think I'm going to do to solve that problem is I'm going to drop the smelter down by one block, put a hopper here to collect the extra at the end, and run a hopper line around here and back into the first hopper. These ones are all going to be pointing this way with the uh, second layer of hoppers underneath feeding them into the furnaces. It's going to give us a little bit of extra buffer space on uh, how much we can store in the hoppers, but also it's going to uh, mean that if any kelp isn't being sucked in because of the, the suck-in rates of the hoppers, it's going to come through here. It's going to be collected all by that final hopper. It's going to go through this hopper chain and back into this hopper chain here. So that means that uh, we'll have a much better distribution of the kelp, but it's going to mean dropping the furnaces down by a level, which also means we're going to have to drop the uh, this line, this water line here down by a level because the hoppers for the fuel are also going to be dropped down to match the furnaces. So that is my next job. So I've got the rest of these hoppers in place. The bamboo is just recently harvested. So this is all working out quite well. Um, we are receiving bamboo into the system and I did check to make sure that we are receiving kelp into the system. So most of these do have kelp in them and we didn't get any kelp when it harvested building up down here so uh, it means that our kelp recycling system seems to be functioning properly so i'm going to give this a good proper test and see uh just what we get i've cleared this out not too long ago it's kind of all in this chest here and uh, i want to see just what happens when we give this a good afk test i've been afk fishing for quite a while and uh this thing has been running really well i haven't run into any issues now uh Fuel is definitely the thing that is holding it up. We need more fuel in the system, but that's going to be taken care of once we built the rest of the bamboo farms. Uh, so yeah, we just had the kelp activate. It's working really well. And I've crafted up a whole pile of dried kelp blocks, and we've even got some more going in there. So that's pretty good. Now, when I was AFK fishing, guess what I found? I found a mending book. That's right. We got a mending book. So I'm gonna go grab it and uh, mend up my pickaxe so that we don't have to worry about repairing it manually ever again. And this is the thing right here. That's what we've been waiting so long for. I should also mention there's one slight adjustment I might make. We'll have to watch and see how it goes, but I might, just, just for safety's sake, I might, uh, set this hopper situation up with the bamboo just so that we don't lose any when this thing gets uh, hopping but uh, I'll, I'll check that out once I get the rest of the bamboo farms done which is gonna be my next job well I've been busy in between clips first of all I've got this bamboo farm pod all built up Obviously, I went mining for iron because I needed iron to do it. I've also got a whole pile of the redstone in place, so this pod is functioning. And I've got the second pod next to it, which runs off the same observer, uh, all wired up. So it is ready to build. And I think I might have enough iron to get this one built. But while I was... Oh, and uh, I was just... Uh, loading in some uh, extra bamboo into the system there. That's why there's some shulker boxes there. But while I was out mining iron, and uh, well, one of the ways I was getting iron was I was checking out uh, some of the sunken ships. And while I was checking out some of the sunken ships, I had some drones attack me. And I had some drones attack me that had tridents. And guess what? Ha! We've got two tridents this one is basically toast this one is almost toast so we are going to need to get some mending books before we can start playing around with our tridents but we have two of them so i think one of them i want to have riptide on so i can uh, use it to launch myself into the air out of water but the other one i think we are going to put um oh what is it called uh channeling that's it so that we can channel lightning to creepers 
because I want to get a couple creeper heads because there's a banner that I want to make for Game Part Industries that I haven't had a chance to make yet because I haven't been able to get a creeper head. And in order to get a creeper head, you need to get a creeper to kill another, a, a, sorry, a charged creeper to kill another creeper. Uh, and it'll drop the head. So uh, yeah, I, I, I need that in order to make that banner. But uh, we have made so much progress. This is so awesome. But that is all the time that I have for today's episode. I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure that you hit that like button. If you're new to my channel or you haven't done so yet, why not hit that subscribe button today and make me a very happy game part. As always, please do take a few moments and check out the YouTube pages of the other Minecraft Cafe members. Well worth your time. And as a programming note, I just want to let you know that there will not be an episode released for Easter Monday. I am going into two busy crazy weeks so for the next two weeks it'll only be the friday episodes that are released but i hope that uh, you have a great holiday weekend uh, have a great time and uh, make sure that you enjoy yourself and enjoy your family but for now this has been game par playing on the minecraft cafe have a great day everyone avery what should everybody do Kick that's right subscribe <laughs>